Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to, uh, the Castle of Fantasies and Wonders. Oh, good job, me. I thought that since these were based on spinies, they'd be vulnerable to fire. I was wrong. So, I've got 52 stars out of, I think, oh, whoops, I'm in the... I came out of a different door than I thought I did for some reason. For some reason I thought I came out of the door on the right, which makes no sense because that's a level. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah. According to the uh, game selection, there are 55 total stars. I've got 52. I enjoy this music. Alright, so. Last time I did this, I think. And so this time, the Persian Tower. Which claims to be a Mario level, but I know it's lying. This is a Luigi level. I mean, look at that jump. Whew. I thought I was going to bounce off that turtle and do the thing I was trying to do, but instead I missed. Yesterday I said that this music felt kind of Final Fantasy VI-ish. Now I think it feels more Lufia II-ish? But again, I can't say for sure. I don't fully remember. Like, if this were a Lufia 2 song, I think it would be to a certain tower? Or maybe a certain subset of towers? Like, it's not the standard tower song that I tend to use for towers based on Lufia 2. The tower of three bases. Ha! Huh. Oh, this thing's going downward now. Ah! Really? I needed that. Ah. That enemy. Plays so frustratingly. Like, I'm scared to, to nukify myself on top of those, uh... Rugs. Because, well, I'm afraid of destroying them. Those rugs are so fragile. Like, if this were a tower from Lufia 2, I think it would be like the one where you fight... What's the name of that boss? Like, I don't know how to pronounce the name uh, according to Lufia 2 Curse of the Sinistrals, it's Goddess? Which sounds almost like Goddess. That boss has a weird name is what I'm getting at. Ah, really? Whatever, just let me get up here. Take that. Oh. Okay. So. Last time, it was my belief that this led to something. Yes! Haha! -ha! I was right! Now, I believe I have to exit where that down arrow is pointing, specifically. Or I can exit like that! I mean, it's a lot of work to put down all those, uh, warps to cover the entire bottom there. I know I wouldn't have the patience for it. On the other hand, 
On the other hand, that's why I don't make... Well, one of the reasons why my levels aren't very good. My lack of patience for them. Honestly, when I make levels, I should make more vignette-style levels like uh, Nyan MC does. That would probably result in higher quality, shorter levels than what I have now. Why? Why do I stand right where the hammer is going to go and just duck? I imagine I'll need that suit later in the level to uh, do something. Okay. Okay, thank goodness. Oh wait, I think I've been here before. Yeah, it was better to take the fall than to try and land up there when not in spin jump mode because that would have killed me. Okay, so... I missed my jump, and that makes me sad. Okay. Haha, -ha, take that, serpent. I keep thinking I'm gonna land on the turtle. But then I don't. I like how those coins indicate the endpoints of the uh, travel path of the rug. Okay, wait for this to spit its fire. Oh. Oh, good job, me. Okay, so then. Just gotta keep on trying. Haha! -ha. I'm amazed that that worked. I almost landed on a spike top. I guess those coins indicate where you're meant to jump and land. I... That's why I hate Hammer Brothers, like... I never know when they're going to quickly toss a second hammer. And by the time they do, I have already made the decision, and it's too late to be rescinded. So I'm going to enjoy the background for a bit, which looks like it could be another level in itself. Well, that was upsetting. Let's see, what can I do to have less bad of a time? Hey, you know how who has an easy time with carpets? Link. 
Link can potentially block hammers with a shield. Really? Link can potentially block hammers with a shield. Also block fireballs. His stab won't upset the fragile rugs. And he can defeat Hammer Brothers and those fire spewing snakes with no power ups and be reliable about it. Unless this level boots Link out. Ah, oh, thank goodness it doesn't. Haha. -ha. Take this, you fire breathing serpent. Wow. That just worked out amazingly. And on the one hand, I keep feeling like this feels like it's from a Super Nintendo RPG. And I want to therefore assign it to either Lufia 2 or Final Fantasy 6. But I feel like it doesn't have the right color scheme for Lufia 2. Almost, but not quite. Hey, you. Take that. Huh. Oh, really? I don't know what I was thinking there. <sighs> I was going to tr attempt to hop onto a rug you know, that horizontal traveling rug that was down there that was of no consequence and transform into a statue on top of that to see what the consequences of that were. But I messed up. Not all challenges are created equal. I am not fond of this... Uh, Okay, that was entirely my fault. That was a fine challenge. I'm not fond of this challenge of giving me so little health to work with. Okay, so... Does that ghost have a portal on its right side? Well, on my right side. That portal is either on the ghost's back or its front. All right. Take that, serpent. I'm usually not good at air stabbing enemies when I'm moving toward them, except when it's like a down stab or whatever. Ah, uh, really? I've, I don't think I've ever been hit while traveling along that. Okay, that was blind luck. I should have gotten hit in the head by that and killed. I'm just being reckless right now. I recognize it, but can't do anything about it. I have been playing Hollow Knight using a build that rewards such reckless pay. Haha! -ha. Uh, wah! Why? Why? How did that even happen? 
Anyway, that horizontal traveling carpet there. Right here. Ah, oh, really? I wasn't far enough over to... I'm having a bad time. Now, I can sort of understand what's going on here. The fact that uh, the there is a mushroom available here means that it's hypothetically available every at the start of every level. But you're forcing me to see two extra loading screens to get to it every time I want it. Why not just put it in the start of every level? Okay, so... Why do I keep getting hit by that now? I mean, when I look at the path it takes, it fully goes through the... Haha! Uh... -ha! Okay, you can just turn to stone on these and be fine. Ah, really? Ah, uh, whatever. Right, I was gonna try and hop on that, but Link cannot do that. He can hop on all kinds of things that other characters can't, but thanks to his downstab, but misses out on hopping on, hopping out, hopping onto thwomps. I pushed the jump button too late. I was pushing the jump button, but it was way too last second. Way, way too last second. Okay, so... I'm actually performing worse as Link. Ah! I put myself in a no-win scenario. Eh, I was performing worse as Link than I was as Luigi. Okay, so... Plonk. Okay, so... Really? I've gotten one of the stars here. Whew. Okay, that's right. Link is slightly taller, 
even when ducking than Luigi, and that's what's going on with that. Okay, you can spit your fire or whatever, I don't mind. Ah, oh, really? <sighs> I just cannot keep that power up. Okay. Okay, got lucky there. Okay, next idea. How about a princess? I'm not sure what benefit I'll get from using the princess. I mean, it's not like her glide is uh, exactly going to solve the problems I'm having. Maybe something about the way she functions will help. Right, I can't spin jump. I was going to spin jump to try and hit that thing with my tail while jumping at it. Okay. Drop you down. Come on. Okay, so... Let's try this again. Woo. Okay, right, I forgot about that, now I'm stuck. <sighs> and I can't go back. I now have a scenario where this level is unwinnable but because this I don't have easy access to this power up because I don't have easy access to any power ups I don't want to cast myself into a pit a hippin 
and a hopping. A hippin and a hopping. No! Why? I accidentally let go of the button and pr pressed it again without realizing that I'd let go. A hippin and a hoppin. A hippin and a hoppin. A hippin and a hoppin. Whew. Okay. Ugh. I stopped being a statue too soon. I can never keep that power up. <sighs> Take that. Okay, now remember, cannot spin jump. Okay, finally, made it up here. Right, I made it up here once before, and I was overwhelmed by the combination of spiders and fireballs. Especially the sheer number of spiders that show up. And now I don't have the one thing that made it possible to get that far. On the other hand, I also don't have the thing that made it so I was forced to either cheat or die in order to move on. Alright, so... Okay. No! Why? Why? Okay. Okay. Okay, I don't think this is a wraparound scene. Okay. Yeah, no, not a wraparound. Interesting, what's beyond here? Okay. Power up mushroom. Great, where do I get the key? 
I haven't seen anything that indicates the location of a key in this level. Ugh. <sighs> this level feels kind of needlessly cruel at this point. Like, I suspect what I have to do is get back to that screen with the spiders coming out of that pipe and mentally and emotionally overwhelming me. And then, uh, hunt through all the pipes for a key. Okay. Either that or the terrifying prospect of going back to the previous room using the Tanuki power to see platforms leading higher up. And using that to find... I can't go back. Thank goodness. That means that it can't be that. But it looked like there was more ascension that was possible to do. Okay, you. Get out of my way. Okay. Nothing in here. Ah, oh, really? I hope that I do not need that Tanuki suit for later in the level because it is impossible to keep a hold of it. Unless I'm one of the Mario Brothers with a backup power up that I switch the Tanuki suit for. Alright, the other option I can think of is maybe that serpent is hiding something. Hey serpent, are you hiding something? Really? Nope, that serpent is not hiding something. So... The other option that I can think of, the one that I've been dreading, well, one of the many I've been dreading, really, is hunting through here for a... Oh! for a pipe that leads to a key. Sorry, I thought I could see if there's something farther to the left. But yeah, it feels like there's something... Oh, I saw a roof. Never mind. Ah. Uh, move too slowly. Yeah, sorry, I don't have much to say at this point. I'm just kind of tired and frustrated.
I don't know why, but you combine snake fireballs. Well, Whoa. no, no. But like the combination of factors here, and just I cannot comprehend how to deal with it, and so I cannot get through here with the awesome Tanuki suit. And so it take, feels like it takes so much effort and luck to get back to that spider place. No! I didn't land on the thing I thought I landed on. I hit the jump button again because I thought I was going to, you know, jump. Not float. Like, the way my mind works, this requires a lot of thinking ahead, and so when things don't work out according to plan, I am just unable to deal with it because I've already made the next move. And if the next move isn't a valid move to make, because the thing I was trying to plan on didn't happen, then... See? See? Look at that. Oh, barely made it that time. Okay. This one I can usually handle. Okay. 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 All right. All right, I think I can do this. Maybe it is the princess's floating that uh, makes this doable for me. Oh, hey, there's a key in here. Alright, the spiders only go left. What am I doing? Okay, spiders, 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 spider, spider, spider. Okay. And there's going to be spiders in here. Nice. Oh no, there's another challenge here. Okay, so let's get out of here. Okay. Okay. You better be careful here. Next this door you will find your own evil shadow. It's very dangerous and fast shadow. It will try to kill you. But of course, if you beat it, you'll get a star. So, yep, get in. Okay, join me next time when I challenge a boss with- Alright. Join me next time when I challenge a boss with Link. <sighs> I cheated this time, but it got me absolutely nothing. Yeah, yeah. Next time, boss, Link. See you then.